What's up, Storm fans? Tonight we're playing one of my favorite modern decks in Legacy. I'm talking about Neobrand, the deck based around Neoform, where you can see it right here. It's a sorcery. It actually zoomed in. How about that? For one green and one blue, you sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature with a converted mana value of plus one. So the idea is that we play this Allosaurus Rider for free by removing two green cards from our hand. And then you sacrifice it to the Neoform to put a Gristlebrand into the, in, onto the battlefield. From there, you activate Gristlebrand until you draw into Nourishing Shoal. You exile in a Tocton Worm to gain 15. You draw 14 more. You repeat this process. Eventually, you cast a Laboratory Maniac and you win the game. Pretty simple. We have some consistency cards in here, like Summoner's Pack to find the Alice Horse Rider. Once upon a time to find lands or the rider itself. Land Grant acting like a green land, so to speak. Uh, we're actually playing Brainstorm tonight, a card that in my last video, about six months ago, I recorded this deck and I said I would return and I would re record with Brainstorm. So that's what we're doing. But uh, the main reason why I'm playing Brainstorm tonight is that it works with my thesis from the end of that video, which is I want to play Once Upon a Time, but I needed more lands to be able to hit. So tonight we're playing nine lands. When you're running more lands, Brainstorm fe plus Fetch Land fixes some of the issues with the deck. For example, if you draw the Gristle Brand, you don't just flat out lose anymore because you can put it back on top of your library. You could shuffle it away with a Fetch Land or even Land Grant, possibly even Summoner's Pack, depending on the game. So there's a lot going on there. Uh, but Brainstorm makes a lot of sense to me here today, so we're going to play it. Um, I mean, the deck's pretty self-explanatory. I already said how it works. Like, you just want to get Gristle Brand into play, draw a whole bunch of cards, play the Laboratory Maniac, and draw a card. You have Pact Negations to protect it, two Veil of Summer, but you also have Elsar's Shepherd that you can get with the Summoner's Pact to make sure that all of your green spells are encounterable. So you do have that going on as well. In the sideboard, we have Leyline of Sanctity, Protect from Discard, uh, also Endurance, but not like Endurance really matters with this list. Uh, Leyline of the Void for Reanimator and other strategies like that, and then Force of Vigor for all those really popular Moon Stompy decks right now, but also the Mono White Initiative Stompy deck that is brand new to Legacy. This wasn't a great deck tech, I'm sorry, but uh, it's what I'm going to roll with. I'm uh, kind of on a timer tonight, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. If you have any thoughts, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those in the comment section down below. I promise that I will try to answer those, but uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, let's head on over to match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We're on the draw. We have a turn two win with backup being the Elsource Shepherd. I'm going to keep no idea what our opponent's playing. We see a Bayou. Stitcher Supplier. Gak. All right. They milled a Vengevine and a Bloodgast. We'll take a draw. Okay. Play the Flooded Strand. Let's just pass the turn. No need to show our opponent what we're working with here. They are a Cabal Therapy deck, so showing your opponent what you have in hand could be pretty dangerous. Maybe I actually should have played out the Rider. Yeah. Because a Cabal Therapy here would set me back to the Stone Age. They fetch with Misty Rainforest. Phew. Just a Putrid Imp. Okay. They have three in hand. They're attacking for five. That's a relevant number because if I activate this flooded strand, I lose my ability to activate Crystal Brand twice. Let's take a draw. The Maniac. We will reveal our hand with Langrant. Grab Trop. Play the Trop. Go to 14. And as I mentioned, this means only a single Crystal Brand activation. Play out Lotus Petal. We will cast the Rider. 
I'm going to keep a backup rider so that way I can play second blocker. Evolution. They get their bridge removed. Here's a big old demon. We'll go to seven life. Draw seven. We did hit a shoal. So now we can remove a rider to draw seven more. Okay. We hit the summoners pact. So I can guarantee a draw 15. I think it's probably worth keeping going here. Grab the worm. Exile it. So now we can activate Gristlebrand three times. Okay. Cast the Summoner's Pack. 12 cards left. Cast another Summoner's Pact. Grab another ESG. Let's remove the Worm. Play out some Lotus Petals. Remove Spirit Guide. Remove Spirit Guide. Let's gain seven more life just in case. And now we'll play the Lab. Draw seven. Draw seven. We win! Turn two. Boom. Okay, so we definitely want Leyline of the Void. Board out these Pact Negations. We do not need Elsor Shepherd. So you can keep in Veil of Summer, or you can actually board in another Veil of Summer. Or what you can do is you can board in Leyline of Sanctity to protect you from discard. I think I'd rather just have the ley lines. The problem with this plan is that you're boarding out uh, green cards, and that's not ideal here. So I am boarding out the veils. I'm just going to accept having less green cards in my deck. And I think I'm actually going to board out a land on the draw. Let's try this. So we have Summoner's Pack to go get the Rider, but we have no way of neoforming Mulligan. This is like a turn three. Is that where I want to be? Guess we'll keep. I, I This might be a mulligan. I don't know. Burning Catacombs. Underground Sea. Cabal Therapy. I do not have Allosaurus Rider. It is a reasonable name, though. We'll take a draw. Another Evolution. Not a big fan of that. Cast the Once Upon a Time. Ooh, we hit Gristlebrand. So now the question is, do you keep it as a card to potentially put back with the Brainstorm, or do you just leave it all on the bottom? I think we put it all on the bottom. Pass the turn. Careful study. Discards Bloodgast and Vengevine. We'll take a draw land grant. So here we get a shuffle effect with the Brainstorm, but we have to show our opponent what we have. And wow, what a brainstorm. Okay, so I'm going to hide these on top. Play out the land. Play the rider. Okay, pass. Putrid Imp. Discards bridge from below. Bridge from below. And flashes back wall therapy to make two zombies. They have two cards remaining in hand. They do hit my evolution, but we have the real card on top. Green, blue, Neoform, which will trigger to remove their bridge from belows. Our opponent just said good games. I don't know if they're going to concede or not, so I'm going to just, you know, I'm fine playing this out. No biggie. And they've had enough, so we're now officially 1-0 with four matches left. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the draw. We've opened up a turn one win. Keep, 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 keep. Scalding Tarn. We would like to find... Well, that was a good one. We will play out the Trop and pass the turn. So Summoner's Pack can get the Allosaurus uh, Shepherd to protect our win, which is very huge. Misty Rainforest. And they're passing the turn. Play the Once Upon a Time. 
Take the flooded strand. Come on, packed. Ding. Go to 19. So now we have double backup. Summoner's packed. Go get the Allosaurus Shepherd. Play Shepherd. Rider removing land grant. Nourishing Shoal. Hmm. I guess I have to. I already committed. So now I need to win with three shoals. I didn't maybe I should have tried to slow this down over two turns. Neoform sacrificing the rider. Okay. They grab Volcanic Island. The lightning bolt on the shepherd happens. I will pack their days. So they're likely on is it Delver? Sure, you got me. I have lost the game. Okay. We want to bring in Veil of Summer here. A little bit more interaction. Ward out two once upon a time. Let's try this. On the play for game number two. I don't love the Lab Maniac, but it does have both combo pieces. I'm going to try it. Play Flooded Strand, pass the turn. They play Scalding Tarn. Delver Secret, six cards in hand. Take a draw, the Lotus Petal, pass the turn. They flip to Ponder. Ouch, I fall to 17. They play Ponder. Did not shuffle. Veil's a reasonable draw here. I need more going on with my hand, though. I don't have enough green cards. A Brainstorm would be a really good draw for us. I'm at 14. Another Summoner's Pact. Play out the Lotus Petals. I'm going to pass her now. So this puts me to 11. We'll take a draw. Another pack. So I can Pact for Rider. Remove Once Upon a Time Summoner's Pact. And then Pact for... Okay, this does work. And I can go get Shepherd too. But once again, I'm cold the days here. Summoner's Pact, Elsor Shepherd, Summoner's Pact, grab the Rider, play Rider, I'm sorry, play Shepherd, play Elsor's Rider, sacrifice Elsor's Rider. With the Lightning Bolt on the stack, I will Veil of Summer, which is uncounterable because of the Elsor Shepherd. So our opponent would need a second removal spell and a counter spell here. They force a will, but my spells cannot be countered. Come on, shame concession. Shame concession. Shame concession. Come on. They're paying costs. They lightning bolt my shepherd. A counter would now do it. Red Blast will do. And I'm dead. So even with their punt, uh, they still had it. All right, one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Looking to bounce back in match number three. We're on the draw again. Not really what we want with this deck. We have a summoner's pack to get a second copy of Allosaurus Rider, which we don't really need. This hand is lacking a Neoform effect. We have one land. This once upon a time is a little bit sketchy. I think you're supposed to mulligan. And this, my friends, is a turn one victory. Keep and we'll bottom the Nourishing Shoal. Windswept Heath, okay. And they're passing. Big fan of Windswept Heath pass. Lotus Petal. Allosaurus Rider removing Summoner's Pact. Allosaurus Rider. I think the one extra man is probably likely to matter more. Sacrifice for a blue. Remove this. Neoform. Here's a demon. Draw seven. Beautiful. Let's draw seven more. 
We are at six life. Um, none of the cards in my hand gain a bunch of life. I could gain two life and go up to, I guess I could gain three. I think I'm actually just going to pass the turn here. A little bit awkward. Discard some land grants. Savannah into Birds of Paradise. Sure thing. Another shoal. Let's attack with a big angry demon. Gain seven life. We're at seven now. Okay, let's cast Brainstorm. We found the Summoner's Pact. We can put back two lands. Cast Summoner's Pact. This actually brings us down to 28 cards, which is huge too, because it means that our deck uh, is a multiple of seven. Draw seven. Draw seven. And I am at eight life. Well, Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Tropical. We can go to one. With all the packs I have in my hand, I'd hope I'd be okay here. We did find the other worm. Let's gain 15. No library left. Let's remove a spirit guide. Gain seven more. Remove another spirit guide. Where's that laboratory maniac? There it is. Play it. And activate Gristle one more time. That's a game win. So our opponent's on some sort of Birds of Paradise deck. Likely don't need Vela Summer here. Let's bring in one Foundation Breaker and a Force of Vigor. Hit Cement. You might be thinking, why Pact Negation? It's a fair question. A lot of these green-white decks are actually uh, Naya decks now, and they run Pyroblast in the sideboard. Pact Negation stops Mind Break Trap. It also stops Solitude or sorts to Plowshares as a lot of functionality. That said, there is a card I just realized that I was supposed to board out, and that's this garbage card right here. This could have been a Force of Vigor. Um, and we have to Mulligan. So we have Rider. We have two mana sources, so we're a land draw away. I guess I'll keep it. Bottom of Shoal. Arrakis. And they pass. Can I win? Remove these two. So I could try removing Shoal, or I can wait a turn. I think we should probably try to just remove the Shoal. Summoner's Pact. Grab Caracas. Or I'm sorry, grab Elvish Spirit Guide. I was thinking about Caracas bouncing Gristlebrand. Remove, remove. Evolution. Sacrifice the Rider. And that's a Mind Break. They got me. Jerk. Okay, let's bring in a Force of Vigor and board out the Shepherd. Supposed to do that in the previous uh, game, but doesn't matter. Game three, we're on the play. Is this a turn one with pack backup? Hold on. Uh, so we Summoner's Pack for ESG, remove these two. Yeah, this is a turn one with Pack Indigation backup. Let's go. Fetch, 19 life. Summoner's Pact. We will go grab Elvish Spirit Guide. Play the Rider, removing Once Upon a Time Force of Vigor. Tap for a blue, green mana. Cast the Neoform, sacrificing the Rider. Your blue card for my blue card. Neoform. Grab the Demon. Pay seven. Pay another seven. We did not hit the Nourishing Shoal. We are dead. Oh, we hit the fail rate. We even added Brainstorm to the deck, and I didn't draw any of the four Brainstorms. You could argue that I was supposed to land grant. No, I couldn't land grant after the first draw. We have lands in our hand. They got me. Damn. Womp, womp. One and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw once again, and we've opened up another turn one win. Keep. Volcanic Island. Ponder. So they're playing a blue deck. We could try to slow this down and win on a following turn. Not really sure. Do I want to jam into days or not? 
They did not shuffle on the ponder. Elvish of er, Eldritch Evolution. Fetch. Trop. I just want to jam. Like, I don't have any tutors in my hand anyway. Is it really getting any better? The Rider Resolved. We will remove all the Spirit Guide and cast Neoform. Let my Neoform resolve, please. All right. They did not. We can go to game number two. All the Spirit Guide, Neoform. I didn't have anything coming. Sometimes it is just better to jam and pray than it is to be a coward and sit there. Like, drawing that game out was not going to help us. Board out two copies of Once Upon a Time and resubmit. On the play for game number two. We have another turn one, but we also have Brainstorm this time. I'll try it out. A very fast mulligan to five. I'm going to main phase the Brainstorm. Because if I had like a Lotus Petal on a Pact, we might go for it in our main phase. This way also avoids Pyroblast and the Brainstorm. We did not. Put back Double Worm. Pass the turn. Based on how that Brainstorm ended up going, I think it probably would have been better if I just jammed on turn one. Now we have two duds on top of her deck. Uh, I think I'm supposed to just play into it. Remove Neoform. Hold on. Let's cancel this. I'm going to cast this rider. Remove Evolution Rider. So I think we're supposed to just try to trick our opponent into dazing here. Sacrifice the rider. Scalding Tarn. Yep. That's why I should have just went for it on turn one instead of brainstorming. Punished. All right, one and three. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match, and we are finally on the play. We have a rider. Unfortunately, we have the Gristle Brand Mulligan. No Neoform. No Land 2, but we do have the Summoner's Pact. I guess we keep this. It becomes really awkward if we don't find the Neoform with this Brainstorm. Play Flooded Strand past the turn. Mountain. Goblin Guides. We're facing Burn. All right, I guess I'm supposed to cast the Brainstorm in response here. See if we can hit one of the very few lands in our deck. Brainstorm. We did, in fact, reveal a land. But what I don't have is a way to sacrifice this rider. Pass the turn. Ouch. A top town worm. They bolt me. I go to 12. Sure. I'm at nine. Take a draw. We will shoal removing the Autochton Worm. I gain 15. Pass. Uh, that's a very tough card for me to beat. Yeah, that's a Sulfuric Vortex. That is a very difficult card for me to beat. And we revealed another Allosaurus Rider. Um, should I, in my upkeep, shuffle the deck? Try to draw into something good here? Wow, blown out by Sulfuric Vortex. You know what? We're probably losing this game anyway. Let's do it. We'll shuffle. Go get the rider. Take a draw. I guess we have to take two damage first. Take a draw. Womp womp. Sulfuric Vortex. So this deck is based on gaining life with the Nourishing Shola, and Sulfuric Vortex just shuts that right off. So we want to board out these Pact Indigations, get rid of the Shepherd, get rid of the Veil of Summer. We definitely want Leyline of Sanctity to stop their burn spells. And then we also want Force of Vigor. Let's try it. Game number two on the play. This hand just doesn't do anything meaningful. So I can bottom the Gristle Brand. Yeah, this is probably it. If Once Upon a Time hits a blue land, this is actually a pretty good hand. Cast the Once Upon a Time. All right, so now any green card off the top does it next turn. 
Monastery Swift Spear in the second main. Yikes. Okay, take a draw. That is, in fact, a green card. Grab Tropical Island. Rider removing the evolution and evolution. Remove the Elvish Spirit Guide. Cast Neoform. Grab the Demon. Pay seven. We'll pay another seven. I'm at five. No Nourishing Shoal, but I can put a bunch of Elves into play. Green Beats. They're going to attack with the Swift Spear. Block. I don't think there's any reason to block with the Gristlebrand. Like, yeah, you could gain life, but if they're sitting on double Lightning Bolt, you could lose your Gristlebrand for no reason. This puts me to one. Sure. And then they conceded. Price of progress, huh? I'm going to run back the same configuration. Ooh, I didn't realize that uh, my sideboard... This happens every time Magic Online updates. Uh, it crops off a little bit of my settings. So uh, it's back, but I mean, potentially the last... No, this is the last game of the league, a little bit late. Let's mulligan. We have Rider Evolution. This hand just does it. We're going to keep this... I think you're supposed to bottom the polluted delta in case you draw land. So if you don't draw land, does that matter? These three. I guess I need to rip no matter what. All right. Mountain. They're passing the turn. So there's the green card I needed. So potential downside I did not consider is if our opponent just tries to counterspell our Laboratory Maniac. Okay, we will exile these. Remove the Elvish Spirit Guide. So many elves. Let's put a big angry demon on the battlefield. You cannot Pyroblast this. Draw seven. I'm at 13. Yikes. Pass the turn. Maybe that was just a bonehead play. I was like, maybe there's a potential that I win here, but maybe staying at 20 is just the best move. Eidolon, sure thing. Take a draw. Back for seven. I think I'm going to pass. Like, I'm at 20 life. I, I have a safe life total here. Why, why chance it? The opponent attacks with Eidolon. And they're just running it back, or passing it back, I should say. Why do we keep on playing out lands, too, into the price of progress our opponent already showed me? <laughs> yeah. Pass. The opponent concedes, and we get our 2-3 with Neobrand. What did I think of the list? Well, I thought having more lands and not having Turn Timber Symbiosis and Chancellor were a big improvement. I think having actual lands in our deck was really nice and made Once Upon a Time a card I'm actually interested in playing. That said, people may not like this. I don't think Brainstorm is what this deck wants. This is not what I'm looking to do. This card forces you to pass the turn a majority of the time. I want more green cards to exile to my rider. I'm not sure if I'd play this again. I think I liked everything else in the list other than Brainstorm. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Getting queued into two Delver decks when we're playing an obviously fun Legacy deck, not ideal, but uh, it was a blast to play today. I hope you enjoyed this speedy league. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.